I'm Dr Rona Cameron, a local GP in Inverclyde. Coronavirus has changed the way that GP practices and NHS services work. Your GP practice is open and has been throughout the coronavirus pandemic. How you access your GP practice and what to expect will be explained in this video. Your GP practice is here to help, however coronavirus means that we all access our practices slightly differently now. All patients need to make an appointment before they can come in. This can be done by phoning your practice. Before contacting your practice, please consider if you can manage your condition safely yourself, for example by accessing the NHS Inform website for advice or by visiting your local pharmacist. You might ask for a doctor when you call your practice, but we have a wide team of professionals that are experts and can help you, including practice nurses, advanced nurse practitioners, healthcare assistants, pharmacists, community links workers and community connectors. Our practice staff are trained to ask you some general questions. This is to direct you to the healthcare professional that's best suited to your needs and to help you choose the right service. If you're not comfortable or would prefer not to say what's wrong with you, that's okay, you'll still be attended to. Please remember that everything you tell us is confidential. Our practice staff are working hard to keep everyone safe and to help you, so please treat them with courtesy and respect. You might be given a telephone appointment. Telephone appointments can sometimes take five minutes or 35 minutes depending on what's wrong, so it's difficult to give you an exact time for your phone call. Please let the practice staff know if there's a time that you won't be able to answer your phone and if you're happy for a voicemail to be left if you can't answer. There are generally two types of telephone appointments, routine and urgent. For routine appointments, you'll be given an appointment in the coming days or weeks when the GP will phone you. If your problem's more urgent, you'll get a same day call back from the GP or nurse. One of our clinical team will call you back to triage your call. Triage is a way of gaining further details of your condition and symptoms to assess you and make a decision about the next step. You might be asked to send an image by email to allow the GP to have a closer look at your condition, for example if you have a rash. You might also be allocated a video call where the GP speaks to you virtually face to face if this is more appropriate. You might be asked to come to the surgery for a face to face consultation. Or you might be assessed and a treatment plan agreed with you completely over the phone. Telephone and video calls are not suitable for all conditions, so if you need a physical examination, blood tests or a cervical smear, you will need a face-to-face -face appointment. The practice team will explain what to do before you come in. To avoid the risk of spreading coronavirus, and as a longer term approach in practices, most appointments are carried out over the phone or by video consultation through a secure system called Near Me. These are safe and convenient ways for you to access your GP practice. The collection of prescriptions is another process that has changed and this will continue to be the case in the long term. Your prescription will be processed as normal and sent straight to a community pharmacy of your choice. Our practice team might ask you to choose a pharmacy in your local area to allow us to arrange this for you. You'll collect your medication directly from the pharmacy when it's ready. Please do not attend the practice if you have any symptoms of coronavirus, including cough, fever or loss of sense of taste or smell, or if you've been told to self-isolate. Please don't attend the practice without an appointment. Accessing the practice might be slightly different. Some practices have a bell or a buzzer in place and others will have access by normal door entry. When you come to your appointment, the practice will look slightly different inside. You will be required to wear a mask where possible. Hand sanitizer will be available before or upon entry. Chairs will be spaced out to comply with social distancing. There might be floor markings to show two metre distancing and signs to remind you to wear a mask and to sanitise your hands. There might be screens at the reception desks. There will be fewer patients in the practice to comply with social distancing. The staff will be wearing masks and clinicians will be wearing PPE which includes gloves, aprons, scrubs and face masks. Practices are experiencing staff absences while demand for GP services is increasing. Everything's taking a bit longer due to restrictions and other measures in place for coronavirus. This way of accessing healthcare might feel a bit strange and really different, but it's important to protect us all. All of these changes are in place for the foreseeable future while coronavirus is still about. Your GP practice is doing everything they can to keep you safe. Thank you for your patience and understanding.